Steven, I, I think it's getting it emotional with you when you're presenting that car. Well, it is emotional for me because this is sort of the first car that I've had anything to do with at Toyota when I joined about 17 years ago. So I've not only had a chance to go out and introduce the first one, but to then see it as it's evolved through each one of its generations. And this car, well, Prius means to come before. It was always our, our vision of the future, and it was meant to be where Toyota was headed. And I, I, I hope what you see with this car is a whole lot more style, a vehicle that's going to be a lot more fun to drive, but that delivers on all the things that Prius has always been known for, fuel efficiency, low emissions, and a certain technological leadership that, that you don't get anywhere else. Well, as we were talking just a few minutes ago, you tell me, oh, Prius is the benchmark, and I think you're completely true. Why not play it safe and try to keep it that way? And why are you getting so much a, a, an aggressive styling with the price? Well, it, it, again, when, when we first thought about Prius, we thought of it as you know our imagining of what the car of the future would look like, specifically what a Toyota would look like in future. And we've been saying now, particularly under Accio Toyota's direction, we want cars that, of course, are safe, that are high quality, that are fuel efficient, low emission. We also want cars that are fun to drive and just you know, sexy and, and really appealing to the eye. And uh, so if we didn't do that with Prius, I think, um, I think one, we're not challenging the rest of the industry the way that we should, and two, I don't think we're reflecting well on ourselves and where we want to take the brand. So what you're seeing with this vehicle is the very first of what we, we refer to as our Toyota new global architecture. It's, uh, it's a more planted style, it's a much more aggressive design, and uh, has much more engaging driving. So I think what you'll see with Prius, you're going to start to see roll out across our entire lineup. Are you saying to me that finally a hybrid car will be fun to drive? I, I, think, I think hybrid cars were always fun for certain, for certain drivers, um, but it was a different kind of fun. I think now you can have the hyper miling, but also have the engaging driving. And uh, I think that's important. But I also, you know, the, the thing I like best about a car is when you've just purchased that new car and you walk away from it and you just have to look over your shoulder and say, man, I like that. And I, I think the new design is going to strike a lot of consumers that way. You've spent probably a lot of hours in, in the technology of this car, in the design, uh, in the wind tunnel, name it. How, how, how much work does it require to get out to a product like that? Oh, it's, it's, it's massive, but obviously it's not, not just work for this car. We've been working very hard on improving the thermal efficiency of all of our internal combustion engines. So a, a number of the things that we've developed for use in Prius, as I said, are going to go across the lineup. So, um, it, you know, the types of investment of time and money that you make here are really paid back and, um, and improvements made across, across the Toyota lineup. That said, Um, you know, I think one of the things that did happen was a uh, very firm direction from Accio Toyota that he wanted a vehicle that had bolder styling. So there have been times when people have gone back, worked on new designs, and tweaked various aspects of the car. So this one actually took a little longer than, uh, than other vehicles in our lineup. But again, when you're going to put the name Prius on it, it's really important that you get it right. Well, I tried the other Prius, nearly all version of it. Um, this car gets an amazing fuel consumption, which is so low. Will it get even better with that new version? Right. So we're not prepared to announce quite yet what that's what that's going to mean. But yes, I can guarantee you to you that there's going to be better fuel economy than the than the previous than any previous generation, and uh, that happens because of the changes in the internal combustion engine. It comes because we've lightweighted various components of the of the system. Uh, it's happened because of increased energy density in the batteries. Um, but we're going to have to hold on the details of that for just a, just a few more weeks. I like that, so we'll have to talk another time, that's for sure. I'm looking forward to it. In the first quarter of next year, the car will be on sale here in Canada. Thank you so much for this interview. Thank you. Really appreciate it.